Hello lords and ladies, welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon. Does it feel like we're getting shorter but more frequent Spongebob seasons? Because I haven't even finished airing all of season 10, but 11's already here without too much fanfare. Uh, but then again, I record these things and I skip the commercials, so I guess I wouldn't really know if this has always been a problem or not. But it seems to take forever for certain Nick shows to air all their episodes. Let's get to the actual review, though, starting with Spot Returns. I don't think I saw the episode where Plankton actually got Spot, so I guess I'm missing out a little with his return. Uh, as far as episodes go, it's not a bad one. There's a lot of humor involved in Plankton trying to turn a bunch of amoeba puppies into safe crackers to steal the Krabby Patty formula, especially when Patrick shows up as the dog of Mr. Krabs. That's beyond silly, almost something I wouldn't expect from the show, but instead something like Family Guy. But that's what Spongebob has become, hasn't it? I talked about this a little bit in the last review I did, uh, how the show's writing and comedy has changed over the years. It almost has to when you have a show going on for near 20 years. Sometimes that change can be bad, like with Family Guy, where the characters have been almost ruined personality-wise. Other times it's more benign, welcome even. Spot Return seems to be more of a mix of the old and new styles of Spongebob, as opposed to the episode I saw last, which was Whirly Brain, which was largely the new style at work, in my opinion. Uh, you get moments like the aforementioned Amoeba Dogs, a joke that I'd imagine even in the older seasons of Spongebob, but then you get the whole Patrick being a dog scene. I think it helps ease people in, though that's coming from someone who has been in and out of the show for several years now. Personally, if they keep a decent mix of old and new, then maybe I won't be as weirded out by this season like I was with the last. Other than that, the episode progresses as you'd imagine it would. Plankton gets the formula, and Spongebob tosses his eye at Karen to distract Plankton. The bad guy is forward once again, and we end on a funny moment. Nothing really else to comment on. It's, it's a funny episode. Moving on to the next half of the episode, we've got the checkup. This has got to be the shining moment of this first episode of season 11. Its wackiness isn't too out there, although it's still very indicative of the new direction, and manages to come across as downright hilarious most of the time. The Krusty Krab employees are faced with passing the yearly physical or the restaurant will be shut down. SpongeBob and Squidward pass with flying colors, but Mr. Krabs refuses out of intense fear. If I have any criticism for the checkup, it's how out of character Mr. Krabs feels. He's lazy, cheap, and greedy, but he's no chicken, yet the episode paints him as that. Obviously, this is done in order to facilitate the plot of the episode, along with the many silly situations the characters get into, trying to secretly give Mr. Krabs his physical, and I'll admit, it was all very funny, but the idea of a character fearing a physical seems more up Spongebob's alley, not Mr. Krabs. What the episode does right, and this is where I'm torn on wanting Spongebob to be the fearful one, is putting Spongebob in some very different roles and personas for his voice actor to portray. It really stretches Tom Kinney's acting chops to give voice to so many weird disguises Spongebob inhabits during this episode's events. He gets to voice Spongebob as a hippie masseuse, an old-timey photographer, and a tailor. It's quite frankly some of the funniest moments in the episode, next to Mr. Krabs getting hit with so many x-rays he ends up being radiated as a result. I want to see more comedy like this in season 11. I've got a little more faith in this latest season of Spongebob after watching this first episode, and I hope that renewed faith isn't let down by the remaining episodes. But what about you lords and ladies? What were your thoughts on the new Spongebob? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and you can obviously watch new episodes of Spongebob on Nickelodeon. I don't think I even need to really state that. While you're still here, go ahead and check out my merch store and Patreon if you'd like to support my channel. Thanks for watching, and take care.